Welcome all to another Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. My name's Burton Knox, otherwise known as Mr. Burton Knox, if you're feeling formal as always. And welcome to another Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. And we are continuing, I believe, off... This is 18th. And let me go ahead and start resuming so our dwarfs can start working while I'm talking. I do apologize for the last video. Um, the sound cut out at the last five minutes and I've been having some problems with my sound card to tell you the truth it's mostly been uh, when I play LOL online and been playing like TeamSpeak with um, Warband Napoleonic War and it's just been cutting out and people have been uh, the microphone just cuts out so I people can't hear me and I have to reboot my computer so I guess that's been affecting my uh, Dwarf Fortress as well alright uh, one thing I wanted to do was go to military go to alerts and I'm going to set my... Why does it set to active training? Alright. Summer paddles are not going to train. Uh, the granite war should. And we'll continue on here. Um, I was digging downstairs uh, as we're going to build a uh, uh, some bedrooms, I believe, down below. I guess I was too far up. There's a cobalt underneath. So we're digging some stairs. They're probably not doing it because we're, we're not burrowed for that. Uh, or they're digging over there. All right. Let me fix the problem we had outside. I believe we had one hostile goblin thief. Where is he? Right there. He, he's just hanging out, chilling. All right. Let me fix that really quick. We'll pull the levers on our fort and pull lever and pull lever and go back they're going outside let's go back to all right let me go to s for squads the summer panels have been pretty effective killers we're going to Put it into our little goblin thief friend. He shouldn't be harassing our people that are going to be going outside. He's going to be put put down, picking up their equipment, their bows, and journeying outside to put an end to our friend. What's his name? Nush Kutsunabusnu. All right, as ever, you pronounce that. And I think I also wanted to take some time to thank everybody for subscribing. I've gotten a lot of subscribes lately. Um, so that means a lot of people are watching it to the very end of this video or these videos. And actually, I got somebody comment on the last 16th video I post, just posted just recently. Here they come to kill the uh, goblin. All right, we'll put an end to him. I don't know if he's going to run away or attack. He's being shot at. He's he's not. He's He's dead. He's going to be butchered he's not even running away I don't know maybe the AI died he's bleeding everywhere they keep on shooting him from the ledge now he's beating him to death with this, the the usually when they run out of arrows they'll run up and beat them to death so let me DBC I'm pretty sure our goblin our goblins have attacked and I was what I was saying was thank you for everybody watching this video. I'm glad that people are actually watching the entire uh, set of videos. Let me go back to squad B K to cancel. All right, so we're done with that. Now I got to go outside and clean some stuff up. Uh, Looks like we lost some stuff outside. Strawberries, rat weed, fisher berries. I'm going to take a look through our list here. And pick up whether the, since the 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 uh the basically put it this uh succinctly or straightforward the the Elves in the last video, they got butchered by the 
dwarven or not goblin dwarf yeah i'm sure we could slaughter them if we really wanted to but we're not we're not that vicious the goblins killed the uh elven caravan and they've dropped lots of stuff and now there's two things to find out either i have to go outside and find it or go through this menu and just un i don't know if we really need these seeds here i don't know why there's some forbidden plump helmets all right, weapons, uh, silver battle axes. That should be unforbidden and melted. That means there were some goblins that uh, went out there and got murdered. And apparently, we got some forbidden bronze. These are pretty much weapons that we've. Uh, all right, well, let me see what we got. Silver warhammer is pretty awesome, but we're gonna melt that. Uh, da, 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 da. copper warhammer will just melt. Bronze short sword will melt the steel. Uh, we're not gonna pick that up. We should dispose of that though. This is probably what the the uh, the um, the altar and ochre are definitely elven weapons. The silver spears are probably. Silver mace. Yeah, there's a lot of elven weapons that were melted. All right, let's unforbid. I'm using the F keys and the M key. That silver crossbow might be actually. You know, that's kind of unique. I don't think you can make silver crossbows. Um, so we're gonna pick that up. Copper, bronze. We got plenty of. I was gonna melt the steel crossbow. All right, uh, melt the bismuth bronze. Iron pick we need. Bronze picks we'll pick up. Steel picks. All those picks we'll pick up. Birch and bow. Yeah, I'm not going to even bother. Silver halberd will melt down. Copper halberds will melt down. Alder long. So silver mar will melt down. Bronze maul will melt down. Silver great axe will melt that. Large iron daggers will melt. Melt the silver copper. Copper scourges, unique weapon, silver flail will melt copper flails. And these are all basic weapons, the probably that the elves drop. So let's go over here and go to ammunition. Iron bolts. We're going to melt. Melt the silver bolts. We'll unforbid the bronze, steel. I don't know, we'll melt the steel bolt. Yak bone bolts will unforbid that. The arrows, I will leave alone. Armor. It's a lot of copper breastplates. We're going to forbid these. And this is probably stuff that the dwarvens and the goblins have dropped. And rather than, and it's kind of amazing the um, bookkeeper keeps track of all this. And he does. So we're just going to unforbid these. Because by default, when a, when a goblin dies, the items are forbidden. So rather than going around the entire map and unforbidding the items, I'm going to just go through here and just through our mega list and pull it that way. I think a lot of stuff that's forbidden. Now, when a Dwarf dies, the items are by default unforbidden. Uh, so they run out and pick those up. So we don't have to worry about when a dwarf dies. But we had a lot of goblins, we had a lot of elves die in that last assault. Not really that many goblins, though. But enough to warrant taking their stuff. This is, th you know, this is what they call Goblinite the free stuff that the goblins drop. A lot of hoods. Copper helms, that's a lot. Steel helms, whew. We got 10 adamantium helms now. I should check out my military and make sure they're all wearing them. Alright, that's been all succinctly. There's a lot. This might take a while. 
you know, I'm not going to unforbid anything that's like a wooden. Wooden is elf, elf and crap. And we, and I made a suggestion on the forums th to make it so you can burn elven stuff. Because that would be really awesome if you could burn it for fuel. But, uh, there's a lot of crap here. Is that footwear shield? Alright, footwear. Let me go back to him. Alright, footwear. Got a lot of shoes. It's a lot of shoes. Iron lobos. We'll probably melt this to like. assist in like the uh, process but I don't know I'll get around to it uh, copper shields those are crap backpacks I need backpacks I don't know what for I can't remember exactly I think the military uses it and we'll get the quivers for our anvils unforbid We'll melt those. We don't need that many anvils. Actually, I take that back. I think we're, we're, we'll need the anvils. I don't think... Cabinets, beds, thrones, cloth. It's probably some cloth that they... Oh, they didn't bring any wool. That's not good. All right. One forbid the threads. Logs, they probably dropped. The... Elves care a lot of eggs. There's one downside of the dwarves. We got obsidian. Hmm. I don't know how that happened. One of the downsides. Ooh, there's raw glass. We can take that. Platinum bars. Fine pewter. I don't think the dwarves were carrying. This might have been something else that died. I don't know. Maybe one of the. Uh, um. Large gems. I didn't know if we had any. Um, maybe one of the uh, previous. Um, we'll take the ropes. Just to take the ropes. And apparently, they got a lot of cages they were bringing. Maybe somebody else died as well. Boxes and bags. All right. They dropped a lot of bags. Because, I don't know, maybe another caravan got attacked in one of those ambushes. Maybe the humans and they dropped some stuff. Now, one of the downsides of actually having an ambushed... Um, I don't know what these bins contain, but we're unforbidding them. And the barrels, too. And we can use the buckets. I don't know. We're going to melt this. I don't know. Maybe somebody else. No, we're going to... We're not going to melt these. Uh, we're going to... Unforbid them. They should take it to that particular place. All right. Greens, ammo, separate crowns, rings, earrings. Alright, so we basically got everything unforbidden that we needed to unforbid. Uh, they got some crutches too. We'll, we'll, we'll take their crutches. Alright. So, one downside of actually them murdering the... Uh, let me unpause it to continue. Oh, and make sure we got... Uh, military alert uh, alert to an active so they can rush out and grab all those things um, now I don't think elven civilizations get mad or extremely upset when you uh, when their civilization has been murdered or when they've been attacked and that you've lost um, they get slaughtered now humans on the other hand when their caravans get attacked even if it was attacked by somebody else, they will blame you and often invade you uh, and take your th and 
siege you because their caravans were attacked by goblins. Elvins, they will ambush you, but I have never been uh, under siege by uh, elves at any given time. Maybe they will, but I, I don't know. All right. Um, so they're digging away. They're probably used a lot of bolts in that last uh, mission. And hopefully I specified this not to use any bins. I don't know why there's a bin in the... All right. I don't know. We need to make more clothes. Hopefully with that rush of goblinite they're going to grab from the outside, that there's going to be a lot of socks and shoes and, and things to clothe the fort rather than uh, DBC. All right, that's been carried. All right. I think they grab bins and, and go to town. Um, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Something uh, that somebody recommended on the forums, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to build uh cages and put them in our dining and and other hallways to see for people to view the animals in cages which is, in this case is goblins so we'll put them on display and that gives the dwarves happy thoughts uh what is is cage n that's where so j j's cage all right so I'm going to put a cage here, and to see the uh, cages, yet V for view, not V for view. It's X to span. All right, chestnut cage, cedar cage, willow cage, goblin. Put a goblin cage there. J X to expand. Is the plus and minus C goblin cage there? J, and I'll put it down here just to make it even across the room. X. J. And X to expand so we can see which goblin put there. And I'm also going to put some goblin cages in our, in our, in our, um, in our garden down below here. Cage X. So they're in one cage and they will be happy to see the goblins in the cages. I don't know. Poke them with sticks. Throw food at them. We've got a human in a cage. I want to put the human down here too because... Alright, so we got a human, goblins. I'm going to put them on display. I don't know. We're not going to use them to practice. We'll wait for more ambushes to uh, practice on our doors. And that reminds me. Um, this is our military training right now. Uh, oh. They're still in kill mode. Uh, squads B. Cancel kill order. Alright. You... What is the door we're picking up? Militia commander. We'll give it a second for them to pick up their equipment and the, let them train in the military area. Let them place the uh, cages. Maybe, you know, we can put them in golden cages I guess um, there's a way to actually transfer prisoners between cages um, but we're not going to do that because um, we're not that fancy and wouldn't ca and I'm not going to go through the process of trading the cages um, I just want to put the animals out there so we'll give them happy thoughts. Unfortunately, they just have G's when they're placed in the cage. I wish the graphics packs would actually show which goblin type they have and have an icon. And I guess they're flashing, which it's kind of annoying. Grapoleptic, I guess. Check our food and stocks. We're good. No more meat. Plenty of other foods. Plenty of chicken foods. Alright. We got some animals and donkeys in the cage. Is that a rat, a vermin in the cage? 
which happens on occasion. Vermin get caught in cages. So we're they're running outside, grabbing all the clothes and stuff. And I need to unsuspend this, by the way. Nope, I forgot. Not no need suspension. All right, let me check my Z menu. See if we need any justice. Uh, Edamant peasant cook. No sentence pending. Why is that? Maybe because Edom like punched the cook. Let me make sure my nobles aren't like the cook. No. Apparently, you go you go to Z and you can check out your justice screen and. You can see crime. In this case, like injured parties would be like, you know, they're having temper championships and they punch somebody. Apparently, the the peasant punched the cook. Um, in that case, we're not having much to worry about. All right, so they're digging out our poles. I was gonna build some golden uh, chains, and we're gonna get into that. But give me just a minute while I take a swig of my Merlot, um, Burgundy. Actually, I wanted to look that up while we're here on a side quest. I'm pretty sure Burgundy is French. I went to Walmart today and bought like some really cheap wine. All s Burgundy, French region. Yeah, I know where it is. It's, it's in this historically medieval times. It was kind of like in the south. Nice as a burgundy. I was at the historical region. Anyways, I, I'm big into like history. Anyways, but I there was no sangria at Walmart, um, which is the cheapest wine. There was like some house wine for like 14 bucks, and I had that choice between 15 buck burgundy and I was like, you know, chillable wine. I'm not. I don't like to drink cold wine. It's one of those sins I believe in that you know, cold wine does not. I don't know. I don't believe in it. It's has to be room temperature. So I bought some Burgundy. For about 15 bucks. But that'll last me the entire weekend. I'm a heavy drinker. And instead of buying beer, which if I if I would won the lottery, I'd probably drink beer all the time. Um or like three hundred dollar bottle of wines, I don't know. But if I let's say I just got enough money to like like hundred bucks a week just to drink alcohol, I would I'd drink beer, but since I only got 20 bucks drink alcohol a week, I am buying the cheapest wine for 15 bucks. Anyways, all right, they're going outside collecting everything. Let me DBC this. That's been collected. All right, you can tell if you DBC on the key really quick. You can see if if something's green, that means they they uh, it's um, needs to be it's it's forbidden. All right, so we're picking everything up. Still unhappy people going around. Unhappy campers. Uh, that's right. I was going to take a swig of my wine. Hold on. Not half bad. All right. So it looks like a stray donkey was missing for a week. I wonder if that was the elves or what. All right, so we're bringing clothes in. That's good. So we're we're getting lots of clothes, and that's the good thing. The goblins can often clothe your dwarf uh, dwarves. All right, we're gonna build. I need a hotkey for the downstairs. Um, uh, where am I? All right, we're going to H capital H hotkey. My F doesn't 